Hi everybody. Um, I know it's been a while since I did a video. I am doing this transcription work, as I said, and that's going well. You know, um, still not making too much money, but I'm making something so I can help pay for food. Um, so um, I've been working on that, and so I ordered a pair of headphones with some of the money that I got um, so that I can listen better. But I thought, well, kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. And so I got one with a microphone. So I'm hoping that I will be able to do that again, actually do videos where I speak um, without having to use the tablet. <clears throat> and another thing I was thinking about, somebody was talking to me on Facebook last night about the Mark of the Beast, and they were getting really frustrated with people who think the Mark of the Beast is the RFID chip. And I understand that frustration. Um... You know, I know we've all sort of been through that, at least most of us probably have. Mainstream Christianity has sort of brainwashed people into thinking that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. I believe there was a while back where people said the uh, the barcode was the mark of the beast. On, you know, when they introduced the barcode on food, because you couldn't buy or sell without a barcode on food, you know. Um, it was related to 666 also. I'm not going to get into all this stuff, but, you know, it's something we all had to go through. At least most of us went through. And we found out it's false, and um, we can't quite blame them for being mind-controlled to believe that's what it is. And, you know, there's also been this brainwashing that the Mark of the Beast is coming, and it didn't happen in the past. I've got a video on how it happened in the past, and uh, the Catholic Church made sure that heretics could not buy or sell. They couldn't leave things to their um, children and their wills and things like that. So whoever the Catholic Church declared a heretic is ba basically um, anybody who actually follows our father and not their triune God. So you know those people would have rejected the Mark of the Beast. They would have rejected um, that pagan trinity and all that. Um, and so they would have not been able to buy or sell according to the Catholic Church. So that stuff happened in the past and there's a big push to get people to think that it's gonna happen in the future. There is probably parallels in the future than there was in the past, but it already happened and um, People are still looking for it to happen and that's sad I think so I was talking to this person and they were talking about the mark of the beast and of course I discussed how I believe the mark of the well the mark of God is keeping his commandments so and it talks about that in Exodus how um, the mark of God is in your forehead frontlets between your eyes and your hand so the mark of God is in the hand and the forehead the mark of the beast is obviously in the same place and it's the opposite of what the mark of God is. The mark of God is keeping the commandments. So the mark of the beast is not keeping the commandments. Those who sin, who the, those who have known better and they go back to their sin are called dogs returning to their vomit and pigs wallowing the mire. They're called beasts. So the people who have the mark of the beast are beasts. They're dogs and pigs. And um, if you have the mark of God, then you are going to look like God. Um, that's why sometimes we'll say people will say that the Jews call it the Goyim dogs. You know, um, this is inerrant. Uh, it's not true. Um, what's interesting is the Bible actually says the Jews were Goyim at some point. Um, I can leave links below to stuff like this uh, for you guys to check out if you're interested. But getting off the path, some people will say that the Jews will that people are dogs because they have a belief that um, if you are like Adam, the primal Adam, Adam was made in God's image. And so when you are like Adam and you keep the commandments and you have the spirit of God, you are a son of God. And Adam is called the son of God. And when you are a son of God, then you are in the image of your father. That's why the angels can come in the image of the father. They come and they speak for him. <clears throat> and that's why 
Jesus, you know, which was said, I don't speak of myself, I speak of the Father, you know. Um, and the angel of Yahweh in the burning bush was able to say, I am that I am, or however you want to translate it, because the angel was not Yahweh, but he was in the image of Yahweh. He was a messenger. He was a representative of Yahweh. So he got to speak for him, just like Yehoshua, just like we are supposed to speak for him when we're in the image of God, uh, when we're following him and keeping his commandments. When you are not keeping his commandments, then you're in the image of the beast. So that's what came to me is, uh, you know, if the mark of the beast is your actions, your thoughts, and your actions, what you do with your hands, what you think in your head, what comes out of your heart comes out of your mouth, those things mark you as a beast. Cain got a mark. The mark of Cain was that he was like a beast. People saw them and they knew that he was like a beast. And they weren't going to have anything to do with him. Um, it's never, you know, it's never like a physical thing. People keep trying to make it into something physical. It's spiritual. And so when people worship, um, when they worship the image of God, that's why people were able to bow down to King David and Yahweh at the same time. They bowed down to the image of God, and it wasn't so much that they thought of David as God, but that he was David's representative. In the same way, people are going to bow down to Jesus, Yahushua, um, not because they think that he is God, but because he's the representative for God. Um, a Davidic king will be bowed down to, not because he is God, but because he comes in the name of his father. And that's another thing, I mean, in the name of yourself, you know, Jesus, Yahushua came in the name of the Father, and the Pope comes in his own name, and uh, people call him Father. So there's the opposite, you know. Um, we're not supposed to come in our own name. We're supposed to be representatives for our Father. If we're representatives for ourselves, then we're not in the image of God. We're in the image of the beast, basically. And so people will worship that image of the beast. So what does that mean? Well, if they are not keeping the commandments, they are in the image of the beast. They're worshiping themselves because they've chosen to do their own will over the Father's will. So I just felt the need to kind of get this video out here because there's so many people posting and talking about it. So I had somebody post last night, or I am me on Facebook, being upset that people are posting about this microchip thing. For all I know, he might have seen the same exact video. So this morning, somebody posts this on my wall. You know, I have to approve it, and I didn't approve it. Um, but they posted this video on my wall. And they were talking about the um, Mark of the Beast and the chip and all that stuff, the RFID thing. And it's a very clickbaity title, you know, like uh, this video has been banned in so many countries. You better watch it before it goes down. Except that when I clicked on it, uh, after the second person posted on my timeline with it, I noticed that it was from last year. Well, I guess they really didn't care about taking it down, right? Um, you know, they want Christians to be thinking that the Mark of the Beast is some chip that they're going to take someday. Because if they think it's the a chip, the RFID chip, or something that they're going to headband, that they're going to have to wear that has Islam's God on it, you know, um, if they think that that's what's going to happen, then they think they're safe because they're never going to do that. If they realize that the mark of the beast is actually doing your own will instead of the Father's will, then they realize they have to change and that they've already taken it. And um, they've already become it. They've already become the image of the beast. We were born um, through circumstances. I'm not saying we were born evil, but through circumstances we were led to get into this uh, cult that made us into the image of the beast basically um, and then we have to come out of it you know um, we have to repent and do our father's will and you know Yehoshua said that he said only those who do the will of the father get into the kingdom of heaven and he says he never knew you to the people who practice lawlessness so 
I just felt the need to get this video out there because there's a bunch of misinformation. For some reason, this video is taking off all over again, even though it's a year old. And uh, everybody's posting about it. Um, yeah, so basically, don't get caught up in the hype. And remember to always pray for what our Father wants you to do each day. And he'll let you know. Um, with my job, I got this QA position passing a test and everything. It was very difficult. Um, I took a job, and that was very difficult. But I knew that Father was leading me to do that. And some people might say, well, why is he leading you to do a job? You know, why is he taking you away from doing videos? I think there's definitely a purpose for that. And I'm definitely learning a lot. And sometimes the stuff that I transcribe or listen to in QA, it's very interesting. Um, I think he's definitely sending me messages this way for me to be able to talk about things. Uh, the one job that I QA'd that was so difficult, I wanted to quit, but I kept getting messages from him that I'm supposed to continue, was about a flight, um, well, a guy on an airplane, basically, used to be from the Navy and all that, but he was doing stuff for NASA. They were taking up airplanes, and they were taking images of space from airplanes. Um, if you haven't seen the video on the Sophia airplane, actually being the Hubble telescope. I'll leave the link below. Hopefully I'll remember. Otherwise, just comment and I'll put it on there. Um, and uh, that's what it reminded me of. But then as I was done, the next day I saw Richie from Boston's video and he was talking about how with the eclipse coming up, just, you know, this month, um, NASA's sending up airplanes to take images of space. So you know, a day after I finish this file on NASA using airplanes to take images of space, I see that NASA's taking images of space once again during the eclipse coming up. These are things that I know are on purpose, and there is a reason why I was supposed to do that. So um, I kept seeing the numbers 114 while I was doing this um, QA job, and I thought, you know, that was to me a sign that I'm supposed to be doing it, that I'm in the right place, basically. But I wanted to know what the 114 stood for. And I saw that uh, Genesis 114 was about the stars in the, so the stars in the heavens being signs and um, seasons for us. So that's Genesis 114. That's a 114. Um, and that's interesting also because this whole NASA thing was connected to uh, the signs in the stars and the heavens. And so the file I was working on was about NASA taking images of space and the signs of the stars and heavens. And uh, that's what they're doing during the eclipse. Another thing is also the Gospel of Thomas has 114 sayings, and the 114th saying is that a woman must become a man to enter the kingdom of heaven. This is spiritual, as I mentioned in my God and His Wisdom video playlist. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave the link below. Um, when I'm not making videos, you can just go through those old videos, you know, check out something you might find interesting. I'm always putting links at the end of videos. If you see one you haven't seen before, there might be a link to another interesting video at the end of that video, and you can hop onto that one. I know some people said they missed me. Um, thank you very much for missing me, but there are other videos that you probably haven't seen that you might find interesting. Of course, I have changed my mind on some of the older videos, but it is what it is. Um, you might find something interesting out of it. Just always pray to be led by the Holy Spirit. You know? um, but that's the point. So the 114th saying is about women becoming like men. And so I mentioned in God and His Wisdom playlist that a woman becoming like a man is, I think, a reference to a woman uh, gaining wisdom, the Holy Spirit. Uh, it's humanity with wisdom is the primal Adam, the Son of God. So I think that we become sons of God, even if we're women, sons of God when wisdom is combined. So when you're following the Holy Spirit and being led by the Holy Spirit, you have become a man, like Adam, the primal Adam, the first Adam, who was led by the Spirit of God. And that's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be becoming one with the Father. So when you're one with the Father, I think you become that man. And that's what the thing is all about, because you know, like I said, Jesus Yahushua said that you won't enter the kingdom of heaven until you are led by the Holy Spirit, until you're doing the will of God. Well, that's being led by the Holy Spirit. So. That's what that's all about, I think. Um, once again, the 114 is another message that I was in the right place at the right time, being led by the Holy Spirit. So I just thought that was interesting. Definitely feel like this job was basically put here for me on purpose. 
and uh, hopefully I'll be able to do more videos. Hopefully I will never have a problem with the microphone again once I bought this headset coming. Um, we'll see. Thanks for listening and uh, shalom.